Hi, this is Alex Paul for Power Electronics News, and I've got Joel Woodward. He's with uh, Rodian and Schwarz, and they've just come out with a new line of oscilloscopes. I'm really glad to have you here, Joel. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Well, you know, the thing about test is you have to test, and your equipment's got to be better than what you're testing. And in power, that's speed, bandwidth, safety, resolution... You know, it, it doesn't help if it's really accurate and then you electrocute yourself testing, right? <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts there. So how do you address that with this line? Good. Um, Alex, great question. Look at power usage for oscilloscopes and it's booming. It's a great market. Rodian and Schwartz has done a lot of um, interviews with various customers. We have a strong customer base using our oscilloscopes for power measurements. One of the key things for people doing power measurements with oscilloscopes is the probe. Yes. You can think about when you drive a car, what touches the ground? It's the tires. And your car is only as good as the tires. For power users, your oscilloscope is only as good as the probe that you're using to connect to power measurements and perform the measurements. Yeah, it's kind of like looking through a dirty window. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, let me tell you about a couple of new probes that we have specifically Please. That, that target people that are doing power. Um, I, I tend to think of power as there's a power electronics, which are generally higher power. We're looking at AC to AC conversion, AC to DC, DC to AC, small motors to big motors, a lot of different ranges. We have two new probes to address um, users that are doing that, that a number of people that have used these products early on have been very excited about them. The very first product we better, have yeah, like is... that angle. There we go. Yep, there we go. It's called a RTZD probe. And it's really meant to be a very low cost, inexpensive um, probe. It has a BNC connection, which means it'll connect to any scope. Um, in the Rodian Schwartz lineup, that, that means it'll connect to an um, RTB2000, which is very low cost, deep memory scope for just a couple thousand dollars for the, for the scope, but very general purpose, very good. One of the unique things about this probe, and it's got 25 megahertz bandwidth, it goes up to 1400 volts, but it has incredibly no, low noise. So it's been engineered to make really high quality differential high voltage measurements with very, very low noise. Noise very is critical. Economical. It's absolutely critical. If the noise is too great, you can't see any small deviations in terms of what you're measuring. So that's one probe we have today. Second probe that I have here, I'll have you hold these, is um, we call it a RTZHD family. There's four models in the family. They go up to 200 megahertz bandwidth. And again, it's a high voltage differential probe. This probe goes up to 600 volts. And there are a few things that are unique about it. Um, it has a Rodian Schwartz interface, so it probes plugs into scopes that have an active probe interface. It'll provide power. It also provides a DC voltmeter over this interface that is active all of the time, very, very precise. It has a 0.5% accuracy on the, on the voltmeter there that's unrivaled in the industry. The scope provides up to plus or minus 2,000 volts of offset. Oh, nice. Why would you want offset on, on voltage, high voltage? You tell me. <laughs> uh, a lot of times you'll have voltages that are really, really, really high in voltage. If you typically look at them in an oscilloscope, you can't center the signal and zoom to use the dynamic range of the A to D converger. So you go to a more coarse vertical setting where the, where the signal is up on the screen and you just don't get as good of a measurement. When you have incredible offsets like this, and it's really unparalleled, plus or minus 2,000 volts of offset, it allows the user to center the signal, um, zoom in around it, and use the full dynamic range, have the lowest amount of noise for their measurement. So it's a great, great capability. Interesting, very nice. Um, the probe also has a very high common mode rejection ratio. For people that are doing um, power electronics, common mode rejection ratio is a really important attribute. This probe has been engineered by top Rodian Schwartz engineers who make their own power measurements on a daily basis to do a great job of that. Very nice. Now, um, two quick things, uh, isolation for safety th things, and also I wanted you to talk a little about resolution. You bet. 
And I'll add one third thing that to, to, to <laughs> so the very first thing is in terms of isolation, the great things about differential probes is you can plug them wherever you want. You don't have to, there isn't a ground on here. So I can plug them between two different things. They eliminate a lot of the, the issues associated with floating grounds, trying to do your own isolation, which is very unsafe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, resolution, these probes connect again to Rodian Schwartz scopes for our three for our RTM 3000, our RTA 4000, we have 10 bits of resolution. So that's great for looking at, again, small changes. A lot of times engineers are looking at very small changes on very big signals. The third thing that I'll point out that's really unique about this, very, very compelling for the users that have tried out these probes with these scopes, has been the deep memory. Mm -hmm. There's up to a giga sample of memory across the, the scope family, and users have been able to see startup, power up, power down sequences they've never been able to capture with any other scope on the market. Well, you got to capture to analyze. Yep. And again, <laughs> again, power we think of as typically slow time basis. Things take a long time to, to happen. So all the more need for deep memory being able to capture long time and retain a fast sample rate. Very cool. Now, and I understand these all start under a thousand dollars, so they it's an economical. Our, our range. product line starts under under a thousand dollars, and then it goes up to a few thousand dollars, depending on what model and what what capabilities. Right, you but you've got the you know hobbyists, educational. Uh -huh. You've got business. You've got research. You're at the cost effective level because yep. obviously you can do these things at a more expensive price point. Yep. The key is doing them at this price point. These have really been engineered for um, users that have. Um, great technical needs for doing power power measurements at an economical price for them. Excellent. And um, they can go to the Rodian Schwartz site to get information on the magic. They can. They can go to Rodian Schwartz site. They can talk to their favorite distributor and ask them about Rodian Schwartz oscilloscopes or contact somebody from Rodian Schwartz. We'd be happy to help them out. Excellent. Thank you so much, Joel, for you taking bet. the time. Thank you.